We don't know if this is gonna go along, so Coleman Young did have us say uh, he wanted to shout out his mom and dad. So shout out there, mom and dad. <laughs> Guys, Mullins in the blue, Coleman Young in the red. Guys, we have five MMA fights so far tonight. Five first round finishes. Coleman doing a great job of opening up with the leg kicks. Two heavyweights. Yes. Sai has trunks for legs. He's got big, thick legs. Two prospects, too, guys. 22 and a 24-year-old in heavyweight division. Good records. Both seem very, very calm, composed in the fight. Yeah, Coleman's definitely going with the oh, couple yeah. inside leg kicks and then went to the body there. Oh, nice little short right there by Sage. Nice jab there. Oh, a feint. Look at that, Pearl. First of all, I'm one of that or the night. Coleman's corner calling for a, a head kick. Should be on the lookout for a head kick. Seems like Coleman's leading the dance. Sage is into the counters. I am impressed with how composed these gentlemen are. Neither one is, is pressing the tempo of the fight. They both have, are accepting these, these small, tiny pauses, these little minute, minute of a second pauses. They seem like a lifetime in there. And so many times I've done myself where you force the fight. You force, mm. you force that tempo. Uh, because you don't like that that stillness in the fight, and these gentlemen are owning it, and they they accept they're accepting of it, and that is that is huge to say where their their level of experience is for amateurs. That is, do you think it's as a both a respect factor? The both men have respect for both of each other. To, they know there's uh, something very heavy coming. No, I think they both have respect, but I also think that it's composure mm. from each of them because you can respect and still not be comfortable in these small, short moments, these tiny moments. And, uh, you know, I think just both gentlemen are composed in here and uh, want to be in here and are accepting of the chaos because that the chaotic feeling that you get under these bright lights is is a lot for some people. Um, and, and, and how you deal with that pressure and how you deal with the chaos, you can either press it, mm. you can freeze from it, or you can just be in the moment and just accept it. And I think that that's where these gentlemen are. They're accepting of and both dialed in, you know, and, and aware of each other's uh, offense. Pearl, we've had flyweights, we had featherweights, we have middleweights, all MMA finishes. Then we had two big knockout experts in the heavyweight division, and we go to round two. That's mixed martial arts for you. Coleman Young starts off quick in round two. Nice inside leg kick. Sage returns. Ooh. Nice. Nice body kick there. Pearl, that could be something to watch in the future. It's a great adjustment by Sai here. Outside leg kick. You got to believe Sai is looking to set up a big right hand. I thought so, but he might be setting up a big leg kick. That leg kick was inches away from couldn't be uh, ending the fight. I think Coleman's looking for the head kick. Ooh. Nice. A beautiful, oh, beautiful jab there by Coleman. Makatong is what it's called in um, Thai. But it's like a nice forward jab where it's kind of, you, you post your arm out and you utilize your body weight to come forward. Beautiful job by Coleman. Nice check up too. Coleman starting to really put the pressure, really, really controlling the ring. Sai came to it though. You saw him circle off. He's not going to allow uh, Coleman to, to push him on the outside and, and have him fight against the ropes here. He circled off very well and brought himself right back to the center. Beautiful jab by Coleman.
both fighters. Technical. 22 and 24 again, guys. Technical. Both of these gentlemen are, are bright prospects. And again, uh, in one of the most exciting divisions in combat sports. I mean, you, you look at in the boxing, you look in MMA at the highest level, the, the heavyweight division is, is a, an evolving division. I mean, and it's the best it's ever been right now, and it's on fire. There are so many prospects and superstars in, in the heavyweight division. And these gentlemen look like they are working their way to fit right in in the, in the professional heavyweight division. Well said. And it's so youthful. They're, uh, in the UFC, there's just guys 25, oh. 23, 28. Just the youth and the heavyweights are on the rise. Amazing. Great round two so far, guys. Mullins in the blue. Young in the red corner. Sai um, bleeding from his nose. You have to believe it's from the jab, that jab. It was probably that Makatone jab Coleman through early on this round. Oh, beautiful hook by Sai. Big shot there by Coleman to end round two. Whoa. So I love that. Coleman is pumping up the crowd. Really feeling himself there at the end of round two. Sai's just as excited though. He's laughing, he smiled, he looked right at him and said, I'm here. I'm not, I'm not at all, at all intimidated. Sai has really, really nice inside work here. You see him, he gets inside and he's got these nice short uppercuts and hooks and he's doing a fantastic job with them. He's got these big legs. I, I, I really believe if he can bend his knees a little bit more and really sink his feet into the canvas, he can really generate some massive, massive power. And Coleman is just a phenomenal athlete. You see how athletic he is. He's moving fast. He's got very technical punches, almost has the stance of a boxer where he's protecting his body, keeping his left hand and his lead hand up at his face. Just a f both of these gentlemen are just some very bright prospects here. Wow, beautiful way to start round three. Both men are willing to throw. Let's see if this goes the distance. Meeting right in the middle, Ooh. beautiful little head kick there. Mullins comes from a great camp. Been underneath the Island Fights banner for a long time. Fighters, nice job. Alexander Schenk. Beautiful guard there by Coleman. He's got really great boxing for an amateur MMA fighter. Mullins is starting to feel himself right here in round three, starting to get a little vibe. Overhand right, barely missed. You gotta believe that's what Sai's looking for. He's looking to set up a big right hand. We talked about the heavyweight boxing match earlier tonight about how great uh, of ring time both men got tonight as well for both of these heavyweights. Usually don't go long. Looks like this could be a full three round fight. Which is impressive, right? These are both big gentlemen. It, neither one of these gentlemen are running from this fight. They want to meet in the middle. They're, they're giving each other their best. And I believe it's due to the, the technicality of both of these fighters. They're so technical, they're so composed. Neither one of them are rushing this fight, are, are uncomfortable in this fight. They are very, very in the moment and, and enjoying and embracing each other's challenges that they're presenting. All right, action back. It's a nice little lead kick that, that Sai has. It's sneaky. Those nice are, outside leg kick. I was gonna say, Ooh. that is what Sai needs right there. He's got such big, thick legs. You gotta believe that those kicks, those low leg kicks, the calf kicks, especially on bigger men that, that can't really get their legs back as fast as someone smaller, those are huge. And, and Coleman taking clear advantage of that. Ooh, there we go. No, no wrestle. <laughs> nope. They want to. They want to stand and bang. One minute left in this fight. Action right in front of us here at Island Fight 72, Pensacola Bay Center. Outside leg kick by Coleman. Yeah, he's got really nice low leg kicks. You can you can tell that last one, not the one he threw, but the one prior to, that that was massive for him. That that hurt Sai. Both guys are in the pocket right now. 
Sai stepping back, I think he needs to go forward. I don't think he has the the window or, or room to step backwards. He's got to come forward, especially at the end of this third round. Press forward. It's such a close fight. Great fight here, guys. 10 seconds left of round three. Coleman's got a fantastic Philly show. Boxing stance. Big hook. Throwing big shots here to end the oh, fight. Oh, jeez. Whoa, wow, that was a beautiful one, too. Wow. What a fight. Great fight. Both of these gentlemen won tonight. Both of these gentlemen have proved that they are prospects and will both be a name in the future heavy, in the future professional heavyweight division. I'm with you, Pearl. <laughs> I'm with you. Wow. Both they come out of great camps. And they, they just both just had a beautiful display of mixed martial arts. Both of them showcased their their talents and their skills. I love this about the heavyweight division. It is evolving. We have at athletes, real athletes, and they're so technical, far more technical than they've ever been in combat sports. Right, it's not just these knockout artists like they used to be, right. or even a heavyweight would be amazing at the grappling uh, side. It's not like that anymore. You have to be a full mixed martial artist now in the heavyweight division. Yes. Studs. This could be the first little tricky decision of the night. Most decisions pretty obvious. We've seen a ton of finishes, especially in MMA. This could be one of those uh, could go either way. It was a close fight. Again, both of these gentlemen displayed technical skills. It was a chess match. Neither one refusing to accept the other's will. It was a fantastic fight. Coleman Young came right to the uh, commentary booth and said, you haven't seen that technical shit from us, huh? <laughs> All right, here we go with Christopher James with the official results of this heavyweight. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges scored about 30-27, 29-28, and 30-27 for your winner. By unanimous decision, from the red corner, Coleman Young. What a fight, Coleman. You showed a beautiful display of technical skills tonight. Tell me about your performance. How do you feel about it? Well, it was the first time I made it out of the first round, so. I wanted to give it a shot, maybe fight smart for once. Usually I just stand and bang like I'm in a bar, so I had to fight for real this time, I guess. You utilized the Philly shell so well. You, you protected your body, had phenomenal boxing. Was that, a game, was that the game plan coming into this fight? Well, it looks so much like Floyd Mayweather, I just fight like him, you know what I mean? I just, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know what I mean? So I, try, I like the Philly shell, it's cool. I want to try something new. Really, fight technical this time. That was the goal, fight technical. You did that, you displayed t technical skills. Was there anything about Cy that impressed you or surprised you at all in his performance? He's got a chin, I mean, every jab I landed, I've landed a few hooks, he ate it like a champ. That guy, he's got heart, hustle, he didn't get tired, he was well conditioned. Um, it was an honor to share the ring with Cy. You are a bright prospect. I look forward to watching your career, your professional career, the rest of your amateur career. Congratulations on a fantastic performance. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Congratulations to both men. Congratulations to Coleman Young.